between a pre-Christian civilization and a post-Christian civilization, the post-Christian civilization is far more dangerous. You know, it's one thing when, you, you know, the, the pagan world could produce a, a Nero or Caligula, but the post-Christian world produces a Hitler. You tied together the cultural decay that we're mm. experiencing, not just in America, but around the world, yes, the yes. immorality, and connected these to principalities and yes. powers, gods, yes. that actually were operating uh, through people the same way mm -hmm. back in antiquity. Yeah, yeah, in many ways, I mean, there, there, you can see it, it interweaves because the harbinger are the last days of ancient Israel and the signs that appeared warning of what was coming. But at the same time, Israel turned to other gods, and that was also part of the end of Israel. And so the same things happened. You know, the, the Lord gave this warning that when a man is delivered of spirits, if he stays empty, the spirits come back worse. Seven more spirits come back. But he says it's not just about a person. He says, so it will be with this generation. So it's, not, it's a warning that any culture, any civilization like Western civilization that has been delivered of these spirits of paganism, of the gods, which is what happened with the gospel, if it should ever turn away from God, which we're watching now, then the same spirits, gods that were cast out of it, will come back into it. Yeah, that, the, the same gods that same. were operating centuries same. ago, millennia ago. They don't die. That's right. They, they don't, don't die, die. But the thing is, the presence of God kind of kept this at bay. But when you take God out, the only issue, you know, it's either God or this. There's no, there's no middle ground. Even if it says in the name of secularism, it's this. It always is. So the same gods, the same spirits, yes. manifest through people again with the same activity. The same right? exact activity. I mean, even, even things like the month of June and what that has to do with the alteration of gender, that's from pagan ancient times. Even the rainbow was linked to this god, goddess, that was about the, the, the changing of sexuality. Even the offering up of children, we call it, a, we're a, a, we say it's abortion. This is ancient, this is pagan, and that's what happens. There's no middle ground. If you take God out, the results are never good. Any Christian or, or Judeo-Christian civilization that does this, the answer, the end is dangerous. Yeah. Whether it's Nazi Germany, whether it's the Soviet Union, or whether it's what's happening right now. Yeah. Well, there's nothing new under the sun. Yes. Why then, if all of these, the, the immorality existed before, yes. uh, all these terrible things that we think of as new and de decaying and bringing us to the end of the end of days happened already, yeah. repeatedly throughout history, why then are those justifications for or road markers that were in the last days? Yeah, because, because the, it, you know, between a pre-Christian civilization and a post-Christian civilization, the post-Christian civilization is far more dangerous. You know, it's one thing when, you, you know, the, the pagan world could produce a, a Nero or Caligula, but the post-Christian world produces a Hitler and so, and an antichrist. So it's more demonic when you have had God and you turned away, it's much more dangerous than having not. And so that's why you can have the Antichrist. It only happens after the Christ. Yeah, it's that much more yeah. intense. Yes. Okay, let me jump now to very, <laughs> to very specific revelation, the nation of Israel. What's going on with the nation of Israel? What's going on with the Middle East? It's at the center of world attention now. You say this is spiritual. Yeah. Yeah, well, what we are watching is part of an ancient war. You know, we're, we're seeing this one little part of it, but the Bible says there's a war between, between the enemy and the nation of Israel because the nation of Israel was created to be a witness of God and to bring God's purposes into the world. And then you have another being, a fallen angel, that exists to stop the purposes of God. So you're going to have a war. And if you want to understand Jewish history, it is spiritual. You, cannot, you can't do it rationally. You can't understand Hitler rationally. You can't understand anti Semitism rationally, it's not rational. It never ends. It's been for thousands of years. The names change, the reasons change. It's the same thing. It is spiritual. And so, the, so what happened and what happened October 7th was gigantic. And there's so much mystery behind it that links up to this war that we're all part of. Whether you're Jewish or not, we are witnessing a, a, a cosmic war. Hi, my name is Ezra Benjamin and I'm the Vice President of Global Ministry Affairs here at Jewish Voice. I'm glad you visited our site today, and before you close this video, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for coming to learn more about what we do. However you got here today, an ad, a search, maybe even a prompting from the Lord, thanks for responding.